Oh, Lord have mercy. It, here we go. A freaking game. Again, man. Google is... Ah. Uh, they're catching crap again. Man, they're really trying to put Google out of business. This is ridiculous. Google faces possible class action lawsuit over game revolution on Stadia. Oh, it just can't get any easier for the, for the cloud-based platform. Coming up on Chariot Man Gaming. I am going to go into some rants, and I have to do it. I'm sorry. I have to go into a rant on this situation because this is not good. This is really bad, and I hope things get sooner. But you know what? I'm not going to spend too much time on this front part right here because you know what? I have some things I'm going to talk about, some articles I'm going to get into. But this has to be addressed immediately, ASAP. But you know what? Coming up next on Chariot Man Gaming. You just entered Chariot Man Gaming. Get the hell out of here. One sword, get the hell out of here. Is Cherry Man Gaming? What is going on, everybody? This is Chariot Man Gaming, aka CMG, and I'm coming at you with another video, a rent video, exciting rent video, and news update. But before before I get started in this exciting news update, a rent goddamn rent video. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming, CMG for short, and to smash this like button, smash that damn subscribe button, my gamers, smash it, slam it, hit that notifications if you want more videos just like this, as you've seen today, and if you don't like this video, take that damn keyboard, whatever you got, a PC table, and throw it all the way, send it all the way out there to space. All the way out there into oblivion in that goddamn barren seat. And hit those media outlets, my gamers. Hit them. Hit them, hit them, hit them. And now, let's get into this today's video. And to today's video, as I said in the beginning, Google faces possible class action lawsuit over game resolution on Stadia. God damn it. What kind of freaking crap is this, man? A freaking crap. By Ben Schoolhoon from 9 to 5 Google. Our friends at 9 to 5 Google does it again. Covering this article, Ben Schoolhoon. I don't understand how the hell do Google Stadia faces a lawsuit for something that they did not do, they have no control over, and the fact that they think that Google Stadia has lied about the 4K revolution, knowing damn well that this has something to do with the resolution. Oh, not the resolution, the damn developers doing this crap and trying to sabotage the cloud-based platform. They are sabotaging the cloud-based platform. I don't understand what's going on. And then this article says, and I'm going to say, I'm going to read it again. Google faces possible class action lawsuit over game resolution on Stadia. Lord of mercy, I don't understand this. And this article explains that this is that this is a bullcrap lie. And this listen, this let's read this. Let's listen to what this article has to say. Listen to this. To say the lunch of Google Stadia platform was rough is an understanding. Yes, it was rough. Anything is rough when it becomes the beginning. A huge lack of games, miscommunication with eager early adopters and more plagued the first few months of Stadia. Among those problems was game quality, especially that games like Destiny 2 weren't 4K on Stadia, as Google has heavily implied. Now, Google may face cl class action lawsuit over 4K claims on Stadia. So that means that they're gonna freaking, these idiots out here are gonna freaking send Google to freaking court. They're gonna send Google to court. They're gonna send Stadia to court because the fact that their damn game is not 4K. What kind of what kind of shit is this, man? What kind of crap is this? Bruh. Because their game is not in 4K. You're gonna send them to court? That is pretty stupid, man. 
This has nothing to do with Google. This has something to do with the, and matter of fact, send the developers to court because you're spending your hard earned money on the developers on the game that you want to buy and it's not going into 4K. But you're going to blame this crap on Google. Google has nothing to do with this. Google has the technology and the infrastructure to run games in 4K. They are the only ones, the cloud games platform at this moment in time that can run it perfectly. And I ain't talking about no PC shadow. How the hell is this? Oh my God. How? God damn it. Explosions, man. Explosions. You're going to get a lot of explosions today because you know what? This doesn't make no goddamn sense, man. My game is you're going to be laughing. Anybody that's watching this video, if you're a new subscriber, if you're a new person, man, I'm going to tell you one thing. You're going to be laughing, man. Get your popcorn ready because I'm going all in today. Get the goddamn popcorn ready. Listen to this other thing it has to say. This is, this is what they got to say. We addressed the issue around the time of Stadia's launch. Talking about how Google was indeed exaggerating the quality of games. How is they exaggerating? It's true that Google did explicitly say all games would be streamed at 4K 60 frames per second FPS. But it was later classified that some games were rendered at lower resolutions and up be upscaled to hit an optimal 4K 60 stream that Google was originally referring to. No, Google meant everything they said. 60 FPS, 4K and 60 FPS, okay? You have to have the stream. Once you have your, your Blazor, your service, in 4K, if you have the, the top um, monitor, you have to have the monitor first, first and first, foremost. First and foremost, you got to get the monitor that, you know, requires 4K. Because if you don't got the monitor, you're not getting 4K any goddamn way. My monitor is not in 4K. I have a 1080p monitor. So if you're not, I'm not getting, I'm not eligible for 4K. It has to be compatible for 4K anyway. 4K does not work like that, okay? It's comp it has to be compatible with the goddamn monitor, damn it. What the hell are y'all people are talking about? That that's what Google meant when you really read. And if you don't have the type of um speeds, if you don't have the infrastructure the speeds, because all you need is 32, like 35 um down, you'll be able to get um 4K. But if you don't even have that, you're not getting 4K any goddamn way. Oh boy. Also, listen to this. While Google claims were misleading. They was not misleading. They boiled down to miscommunication and mismanagement. Seamlessly, a pattern stated leadership just can't break. Oh my God. The hardware behind Stadia is, in fact, more powerful than PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as promised. And games are playable in 4K. Density 2 lacks 4K on Stadia, but that's not Google's fault. Bingo! Bingo! Hello! It is not Google's fault. It lies on developers' bunchy's choice to prioritize frames per second over resolution. At this point, roughly half of Stadia's library can run up to 4K 60s with many others offering 4K 30. Of note, Google still does not offer a clear information on the resolution of a game purchased on Stadia before the point of purchase because it's not Google's plan to, to do that, to, to explain that. They already explained it. It's up to the developers to take advantage of the grab the, the power the technology of google it's up to the, the goddamn developers and in this paragraph it's going to explain that right here when you listen to this paragraph it's going to explain that it's up it's not up to google to do it it's up to the developers and also that individual to get a 4k monitor because you got to get a a monitor that's eligible that's compatible with 4k to get 4k gaming if you don't have or 4k tv to play 4k games and your internet has to be right too you have to get at least 35 megabits down to get anything less than 5 35 megabytes you can't get 4k any goddamn way all right if you see this list here of all how it's worked, that's how it see how it is from 35 and all the way down to 10 megabytes. 10 megabytes you get 720p up to 35 is 4K, basically. God damn, this, 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 this is freaking elementary. You, how many times I gotta keep explaining this goddamn crap? Now listen to this article because this explains everything what Google's talking about. This is what this person has to say. Suing Google over a lack of 4K games on Stadia basically equates to suing at Netflix because some movies aren't available in 4K. Hey, <laughs> because you, oh my God, you're playing Netflix extra to unlock 4K and clearly Net, Netflix is compatible, capable of streaming that, but it doesn't change the fact that some content simply isn't available in that resolution, either by limitations of production or simply choice of the publisher. Developers publishing games on Stadia has some choices and potential limitations. For example, 
offers EA, like, 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 EA for example offers matching NFL 24, 21 in 4K60. No wonder it damn thing looks good on Stadia, but limits Jedi Fallen Order in 1080 60 frames per second with Google upscaling the final stream. L listen to this again. Let's listen to this again. So you all you guys can listen to this real clearly. EA offers Madden NFL 21 in 4K60 on Stadia, but limits Jedi Fall in Order to 1080p 60 frames per second with Google upscaling the final stream to pro subscribers meaning if you are a pro subscriber also you got to be a pro subscriber Google will still upscale the goddamn game in 4k any goddamn way even if it wasn't on um, 4k this is ridiculous man this is not this this shows you this has nothing to do with Google this is the developers doing this goddamn crap all right, because now I guess EA is starting to get used to the hardware, and now they're able to push it to 4K60. So they need to freaking do an update on um, Jedi Fallen Order. They need to do a goddamn update and get that Joker in 4K. Get that Joker in 4K. That's what it needs to be happening. Oh my goodness, man! Could you believe this crap, man? My game is. Could y'all believe this? Let me know when this. Well, let me know what you think about this whole situation. This whole catastrophe of you know. I just think they're just trying to sabotage Google. They're just trying to do anything they can. To destroy Google, they—I mean, people just really hate Google for some reason, man. They don't want Google stated to be successful. First is the goddamn—we understand the games and all that stuff. The state of eight games entertainment being shut down—that's understandable. But this is ridiculous. This is really getting stupid. It can't be no stupid. Let me know in the goddamn comments, man. Let me know in the comments. And all I got to say is, my gamers, sound off in the comment section and tell me what you think about this freaking sticking idiot. This nonsense. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming. And to smash this like button, smash the subscribe, hit the notifications if you want more videos just like this. As you seen today. And I got more content coming on the way. And I'm going to say just, just keep it gaming. And like once again, thank you for all the guys that subscribe to Chariot Man Gaming. Share this video and get more subscribers on board because we got more stuff coming into this into this sheer kingdom of chariot man gaming and we got more stuff coming on the way and i'm going to keep it going and i'm going to keep telling you the truth about what's going on in gaming no sugar coating here and i'm going to say peace